What if the tree that we see at the end of the Hashira training credits is not a tree? Let's get into this. Hello there, my fandom friends. Today, I am bringing you an episode on my channel that I have not seen anyone talk about. It is in regards to episode eight, which will be coming out next week and it will be covering content from Manga 16. And so I am going to be talking about something that is very manga spoilery. So if you have read the manga, you're safe. You could continue watching. I am excited to hear your thoughts as other fellow manga readers. However, if you have not read the manga, I highly suggest you come back later and watch this after the final episode of this season is out. I don't want to spoil you. There's something very major that happens in this book that I think the credits are warning us about, and I'm just now figuring this out. I have not seen anyone talk about this. I have a theory about what that dead tree is, and it's very spoilery. So I'm going to be talking about that in this episode. So before any of you leave due to spoilers, I just wanted to explain that a couple weeks ago, I actually made a video of myself breaking down the credits of the Hashira training arc. I was able to basically theorize and speculate what everything symbolized. Obviously, we don't have a concrete answer to this, but I like speculating things and talking about it. I like hearing other people's opinions about what they think things resemble and symbolize. And so I made a video of just my thoughts on it. The one thing that I just could not figure out was the symbolism of that tree at the very end. The very last scene of this really thorny tree just going up in the air. We kind of see a visual from the bottom and that's how it ends. And I've heard that a lot of people are very confused by this. Now, I have a theory from this manga that I think explains what that might be, and it's going to be shown in the finale episode, and so this is the time I'm going to ask all of the non-manga readers to please exit the video. Feel free to come back later, I just don't want to spoil you, this is a pretty huge thing that we're going to see in the next and final episode of the season, and so I want you to feel that excitement through the episode, not just me talking about some theory that may or may not be accurate. So I'm going to give a countdown. And I hope that some of you will stay, some of you will leave and come back later. It's up to you. We are going into spoilers in three, two, one. All right, we are entering spoiler territory for Manga 16. And so I'm just gonna jump right into it. In that video that I talked about the credits breakdown, something that I talked about was maybe it's a dead tree that symbolizes death, chaos, um, death of characters to come potentially, which of course we know happens. But I'm thinking, what if this is not a tree at all? What if these are thorns more so than the structure of a tree? This whole theory kind of sparked between my boyfriend and a group of friends and I that ended up watching episode seven together. And so we were all just kind of talking about the amazing ending of Muzan showing up at the Ubiashiki mansion. And we were like, dang, that was really awesome how the credits connected to Muzan showing up. Again, this was something I talked about in my credits breakdown, so it was cool seeing kind of my theories come to life. But something that my boyfriend said was that tree is really thorny. Look at the structure of it. And my mind immediately shot to Tamayo's blood demon art. And so what if that tree structure that everyone's been talking about is actually not a tree, but Tamayo's blood demon art that we're gonna see in the next and final episode of the Hashira training arc, because that's literally the last thing we're gonna see before they all go into the Infinity Castle. I think we're onto something here because there's no symbolism of a tree that I can think of. I don't think personally it's a tree anymore. I do think it's her blood demon art. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more. All right, so jumping to manga 16, where we have some more proof of my theory. In chapter 138, this is when Tamayo uses her blood demon art against Muzan. And so she appears really suddenly. She uses her thorn kind of blood demon art. It's spearing through his body. That's when she's attaching herself to him. So it has the ability to work better, which of course we will most likely see in this final episode. We've got to. But something that the manga shows for her blood demon art is that these thorns 
are pretty thin. There is an angle of this one shot where it looks like the thorns and they're going up into the sky, which is kind of the same angle that we see this tree-like structure in the credits scene. And so for the anime credits to be kind of so dramatic that it looks like a tree, this might be a bit of a stretch, but we also have seen that the creators have added to the anime so much more than what's in the manga. And so I would not be surprised if these thorns that are in the manga end up being so much bigger and so much more full. Obviously they don't have leaves. That's another hint that this might just not be a tree, but just thorns, like a dead tree in a way. But again, I don't really think it's a tree. I think it's just thorns that make it look like a tree. There's a very specific scene in the manga. And so again, jumping to kind of the symbolism of the credits, at the very end of the credits, we see that Muzan is approaching the Ubiashiki mansion. We now have this confirmed from the final scene in episode seven, where it literally morphs the credits 100% of Muzan's shoes walking through. You could see the exact same kind of boardwalk path that he's on. And then from his back with his cape billowing out, there are literally scenes just taken from that very final scene in episode seven. And then it goes straight into this tree-like structure, which is going to be probably the very last thing that we see in the finale is Tamayo's blood demon art attacking Muzan. Of course, I think we're going to see a bit more than that, but I'm going to make a different video kind of explaining my full prediction on where I think that this last episode is going to end. I think it's going to be a huge cliffhanger. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about this theory because I have not seen anyone theorize this yet and I just found it to be incredibly interesting and I think personally it makes a lot of sense. And so I would love to hear from you in the comments if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, that's totally fine. I just want to hear your thoughts. If you do think this is a tree and it symbolizes something, totally let me know because I'm struggling with this whole tree aspect. But I personally think that this tree-like structure is Tamayo's blood demon art that we are going to see right before the Infinity Castle. So I am just so excited. I'm also just like so emotional over this because as you know, being a manga reader, what is to come is very emotional. So we're getting through this together. But that is all. I hope you enjoyed this theory. I'm going to continue making more videos like this. I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye.